Dr. Barnes wanted to talk about the amazing hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is kind of in the lower portion of the thalamus, which, by the way, makes up the walls of the diencephalon. The hypothalamus functions in hunger, anger, rage, aggression, or monitor of these desire for intimacy, blood pressure control, temperature regulation, memory, learning, sleep, so much. I want to talk right now, though, about how it interacts with our hormones. There are a couple of nuclei that feed the posterior pituitary. These would be called the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei. They release hormones into the posterior pituitary where the there's a little arterial system that picks this up and carries the hormone ADH and oxytocin out to the body. This little artery is called the inferior hypophyseal artery. Interestingly enough, the front part of the pituitary is not directly connected to the brain. Instead, it's connected through a superior hypophyseal artery, which forms a little plexus network. And then there are hypophyseal portal veins that then connect this network to a lower secondary capillary plexus in the anterior pituitary. This picks up hormones that are made in the anterior pituitary and then takes those to the body to their target organs. We're talking about growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, LH, prolactin. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about all of this. Interestingly enough, the front part of the pituitary is called the adenohypophysis. The back part is called the neurohypophysis. The adenohypophysis develops from the roof of the mouth, and the neurohypophysis is a downward projection of the diencephalon. Interesting pituitary gland, master control gland of the whole entire body. Stay tuned. We are going to learn more and more about the pituitary and about these hormones. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is what creates a community on YouTube. And also remember to study what your teacher wants you to study. I always get my students to highlight the material in the text, and then that way we all study the same thing. I just wanted to bust out a little information for your viewing pleasure.